YouTube streaming just got way better. The RTMPS updated spec I covered back in April is officially out of beta, and everyone can stream HEVC or AV1 video to YouTube and get significantly higher quality for your bitrate, or maintain the same quality while pushing a lower bitrate. To do this, open up OBS Studio version 29 and up, set your stream location to YouTube-RTMPS, and log in with your YouTube channel. Then, in the output settings, you can choose HEVC or AV1 encoders where available, instead of just H.264. Whether you have an NVIDIA GPU, Intel Arc GPU, or AMD RX 5000 series or above GPU, HEVC is a great option that will get you higher quality encodes sent to YouTube. The RX 580 also has HEVC, but from what I've seen, it's not worth using most of the time. Feel free to try it if you're still rocking Polaris, though. This might even perform better for you than your H.264 streams did, too, depending on your graphics card. If you're on NVIDIA RTX 4000 series, AMD RX 7000 series, or Intel Arc graphics cards, you can select your GPU's specific AV1 encoder as well. This is an even higher quality encoder. Those who see the AOM and SVT AV1 encoder options, those just run on your CPU, like X264, and are very tough to encode at a high quality in real time. I'd only ever recommend trying it on a dedicated streaming PC for console or dual PC streaming setups, and even then, GPU HEVC is probably the way to go over using those. I will say now that this update allows you to squeeze more quality for your bits that you send to YouTube, but YouTube always transcodes everything, with these streams usually to VP9. That's okay, but the usual rules of YouTube quality apply. 1080p will struggle to look good for any high detail, high action gameplay, and there's no secret trick to fixing that. Whether you're uploading a video or live streaming, YouTube does not allocate enough bitrate to their 1080p transcodes to look good to most gaming or high action creators. Instead, I highly recommend upscaling your stream to 1440p or 4K. This gives you much higher bitrate transcodes and thus higher quality to the viewers, even if you aren't playing or capturing native 1440p or 4K. You can do this right in OBS by going to Settings, Video, and then changing the Output Scaled Resolution box to 2560 by 1440 or 3840 by 2160. You'll have to delete what's there and type it manually. Then choose Area for the scaling method. The only real downside here is that you can't use the lower latency modes for YouTube streams with 4K, but they do work with 1440p. For bit rates, I recommend streaming 3.5 to 6-ish megabits per second for 1080p 60, though again, I recommend avoiding 1080p, then 5 to 15 megabits per second for 1440p 60, and 12 to 25 megabits per second for 4K 60. Higher is better to a degree, YouTube's soft cap is around 50-ish megabits per second, but you don't have to use higher bit rates to still look good. For comparisons of how these bitrates look on stream, check my original video and testing stream VODs in the description below. AMD RX 7000 users will need to set the preset to speed if using AV1 and 1440p or higher resolution. Combine this with the new YouTube control panel updates in OBS Studio version 30 beta, and YouTube streamers are getting quite a nice experience these days. Twitch, please update. As a bonus tip, when you're done streaming, after your VOD processes, which may take an hour or two, use the YouTube editor to trim off any dead air at the start and end of your stream, and maybe even clip out the ones during breaks too, to help with viewer retention and watch time. Enjoy higher quality streams on any hardware going back to the GTX 10 series and video cards, and AMD RX 5000 series and higher, and any ARC users out there. It's that simple. If you want more help with OBS, check out my definitive guide course at eposvox.gg course, and you also must check out this video that I just released on the OBS 30 update to see all the latest features and improvements. Remember to be kind, rewind.